<laughs> How to make a custom dog bed for your front seat by the best upholsterer in all the land, Erwin Baina. Today I am in West Palm Beach visiting my grandparents. So my grandfather, who has a lifetime of upholstery, he had his own business, is helping me make camper his own custom bed. So we started working and then I realized, wait a minute, I should show you guys how I'm doing this. Welcome to my home. Today, my grandfather and I are going to teach you how to make a dog bed in your front seat. It is really hot today. Right, turn the heat off. <laughs> so hot out. Oh, this is Florida. What do you expect? Please excuse if there are vague directions in the beginning for the fact that I did not even think to make this video until halfway through. And also because my grandpa was being adorable. You can take this with you. Oh, we gotta show them the new one. Okay, the new tape measure. No, I want to use your old one. This no, you take my new one. <laughs> the thing you need to do is think about your design. Design-wise, for me, if you look in my other videos, especially my how I pack my car to live with a dog, you see that I have two plastic bins that are usually right here that level this out perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, for me, this is 25 across, keeping in mind Right here is 24, right here is 26, so I have it on a diagonal line. This way, I'm going across 23. Just get a really thick memory foam, and then we'll get cutting. First thing you will do is measure and trace your lines to the dimensions you got from measuring the car. You'll do this on the foam. We didn't have a large enough piece, actually, so we ended up creating this from two pieces of foam that we're going to glue together later. Take the scissors, you go like this. What do you do? Yeah, let me get all the way. Then we cut the foam. If you don't have a tool like I have right now, in the past I've used an electric turkey cutter on a mattress, it worked wonders, or you can even use a sharp knife. Just guess when you bought it. How old were you? I must have been about. What year do you think this is from? You were 20 years old? How old are you now? 85. Wow. Isn't that cool? Now, how I am going to contour is by hand. If you're not as artistic, you can take, a, I wish I knew what they were called, but they have tools that contour for you. Another thing you could do is take foam or a ruler and attach it to this. Let's pretend this is my ruler and this is this. I will attach them together. And to make a perfect contour, you can just easily go along and do your own freehand contouring to the seat. This comes around and comes right back up. Now, right here I stop because I think about this seat belt. I'm gonna measure just like so. So this is about that big. So what I'm gonna do is cut like so. So then there's a hole for where the seat belt is. And voila, we'll take that over and cut it out. Just want to see if this will fit in the back seat. Okay, so I'm just going back and forth and creating precise cuts to fit perfectly into the car. So it goes into the seat. Same thing. I even made this line slightly off for the fact that the front of my car is off. Check that it will line up with whatever you're putting over here. That's gonna be so perfect for camper. Okay, I'm just gonna close it. Oh. 
Now we will take our upholstery glue, put it on both sides of the foam that are gonna contact each other and put it together. Like a glove. You wanna help me with your magic touch? I don't wanna be in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, you're already YouTube famous. This, tell everyone how to get me points. You're doing good. We are creating a hard base with press board. This is not necessary. You can easily sew something around this, but we're doing this so we could staple the fabric to the press board and make it an easy job. Be sure that you're leaving room around the edges that it can mold to the car and the whole base is not hard. So measure it along and cut it with your tool of choice. I'm gonna use a jigsaw. Oh, you plug it in. <laughs> Step one, plug in your... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Take this glue. You spray it here, and now here, and just put this down like this. That's it. Okay. Make sure that you are spraying both the foam and the press board, then putting it together to ensure that it has a nice hold. Cheers! Wait, wait. Let me put my sunglasses on. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm just, getting, I'm just cutting the material. Oh, ow. I just hit my leg. So you're cutting the material to fit around it? Yeah. Cut your fabric long enough that it can wrap around the entire piece of foam to the back. <gasps> That's going to be your dog bed. Oh, he already likes it. Look, Grandpa. Okay, right. camper. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it already. <laughs> you sure we send you picture taking? Can we please have that? Be sure that your fabric is nice and snug, and as you go around the edges stapling the fabric to the press board, be sure to trim the excess as you go along to make it easier. You will also want to make sure that you make nice neat folds around the corners. Look at you, Poppy. What do you expect for a Mickey Mouse routine? That's right, a Mickey Mouse job. <laughs> Once you have all your stables in place and it's nice and secure, we'll cut the excess and it's ready to go. Just watch my granddaughter's video. This way she could buy me a new car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a house. I'll be happy with a car. See if it fits. What kind of car do you want? I'm not sure yet. Right now, you know, I'm just joking with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you anything you want, Grandpa. Okay, let's test this out. Oh, it's perfect, and I don't even have the levels in yet. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Let's make sure the door closes. Oh, good boy. Do you like it? Do you like your new bed? Oh. Camper, what are we doing today? Oh, you know, just hanging out on my new dog bed. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on notifications. You're right. <laughs> Do you love your new bed? 10 inch blade, oh, you're using a 10 year old blade. <laughs> a 10 year old blade? You're giving me that crap? Yeah. <laughs> wait, Cheers. Wait. Let me put my sunglasses on. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, Grandpa, what kind of sponsorship are we looking out for? Someone with liquor. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's in, what other sponsor would you like? A, ma a recliner? A massage chair? Sure, well, anything. I always like a bargain. <laughs> yeah, it will be anything free. that's free. Yeah, anything okay. that's free, I'll take it. How about, <laughs> or, or, or you buy two for one. <laughs> How about that, Camper? What do you think? Two for one. Oh, two for yourself. one. Camper's into it. No, I got it. I got you to it. I think it's, it's working. And then what are you going to do? Then I have to press this, and your name come up. I press your name. Now these are all your videos. Now how do you get points? 
No, I. Right, it's all here. So you have to hit that, and you have to watch the commercial, and that's it. Watch the video so she can get points. I'll get you a point later. What are you gonna do to get me a point? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here, Nicole. I'm gonna put the, on how to be, build a, your platform in your car. Okay, I hit that. <laughs> wait, wait me a <laughs> what did I get? Huh. What did you say? You got a point. 